So from around the age of two and a half, I would recommend using a wake clock. So one of the most popular ones of these is a grow clock and it can be set to change color at a certain time. So when your little one goes to bed, we change it to the star, winks at you and it goes blue. It stays blue until the time that you set it to turn yellow. So when the sun comes on and it's yellow, that shows the little one that it's time to get up. Now, many people fall into the mistake of getting their grow clock. They've got a child that say wakes up at 4.30 and they think, okay, well, 5.30 is reasonable to start with. Let's set it for 5.30. No small child will sit and look at a clock for an hour quietly, none. So all you're doing is setting up your little one for failure. They're not going to be able to do that. I wouldn't want to do that. I've got things to do. I want to get out of here. So what you want to do is avoid setting them up for failure by having that clock, having them wait so long for it to turn yellow. Rather, let's set them up for success. So in our same scenario, little ones waking at 4.30, set the clock for 4.20. Okay, I know it sounds weird. Oh, 4.20, I don't want to... You're getting up that time anyway. What does it matter? Set it for 4.20. They can't help but do it right the first time. They wake up bleary. They see that yellow light. Mom, it's morning. Yay, you did it. I'm so proud of you. You waited for it to be yellow. They didn't wait for it to be yellow. We know that. But you did it. I'm so excited. Let's go tell dad. He's still asleep. So we want to hook them on success early. We want to get them wanting that positive reinforcement.